Hey everybody, Chris at Torque King here. Uh, I've got parts going out the door faster than I can get them in some days, and this is one of those times. So I promised a part three on the NV4500 teardown and inspection. And what we're trying to do is show you the difference between some of the used worn parts and our brand new pieces. So I'm gonna give you just a quick little bit of this because these parts are gonna go out the door today. What we've got here is our fifth gear setup for the counter shaft, which is this fifth gear clutch hub. And we'll just compare one at a time, have a look at them. And I'll put those right there. You can see that clutch hub, the tips are worn off quite a bit more than that. Brand new part. That's a piece that you might get away with using just fine, but when those grind down, it makes it a little trickier to get it into fifth gear there. It might want to grab a little harder. So I'm going to replace that with a new part when I put that one together. So we'll set that aside. The fifth gear itself, this had a full spline fifth gear and all of them should be fully splined. And the gear actually looks to be in really good shape. Our teeth look good. It's not badly worn on one side more than the other. You can see it's a little polished. It doesn't look bad. This difference in the, the machining there is just the, the remainder of, of cutting that groove there. And this is lit down a little bit smaller, our part, than this one. But that really doesn't make any bit of difference on the holding power of that fifth gear. got our synchro still in there. I'll leave that alone. We're going to replace that for sure. The next part is our synchro slide collar. So you can take a good look there. On this same side, you can see the, the sharp tips there that are going to line up with our synchros. Look very good on both pieces. Flip it over the other way. And all of our edges here are nice and crisp on both sliders. That's got a little uh, mark on there that somebody probably put on to indicate which way it was going in this transmission. As I said before, it's been into once before. Otherwise, inside, this doesn't have any wear marks at all, and this one has just a little bit of wear where those strut springs uh, struts and springs push up against that to hold it into fifth gear. So I'm going to reuse that part. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The last part we're looking at in this particular setup is the fifth gear on the counter shaft itself. And we already looked at the gear teeth. They looked fine. We looked at the clutch hub. And in further inspection compared to the brand new one. But you can see everything that we're looking at is is... Christmas of the hard lines, all of these pieces, uh, these grooves where that collar is going to slip on there. This one slipped on nice. This one brand new slips on nice. I think we're good to reuse that gear. We don't need the, the new gear, but we will replace that clutch hub because of the bit of wear on those teeth there. And again, you might get away with that, but for this far end, it's worth putting the new part in. These are some of the gears that we've got in the body of our transmission. What I want to show you is a couple of things. Uh, this right here should be our third gear because this is our third and fourth gear clutch. So this is our original piece, that shape where the synchro and the, the collar line up between there and there. These two gears are very close to the same thing. I don't, I don't honestly see any wear by eye other than a little discoloration that's been from being in the oil for a lifetime. Uh, I will absolutely use that gear again. I have no issue working with that gear again. Now with those out of the way, the next thing I want to look at, I don't have the whole collar here, but I've got this collar that shifts onto that third gear and to this fourth gear clutch. There's my used fourth gear clutch and you can see my engagement and what I'm looking at here is how how far I can pull that slider on the outside up against that gear. That's all the engagement for fourth gear right there. 
that's what holds fourth gear. So and that's back to third gear. This new piece, uh, it seems like it's got just a little better engagement. And that isn't because this piece is more worn, it's because the, the collar itself is a little more worn on our used piece. You'll remember if you watched the first video, the guy that owned it said third gear was a little bit chunky. And I'm gonna guess that that was due to a little extra wear on that shift collar. So we'll move on to the next bit. I've got this, which will be my reverse. This is the reverse gear that would ride at the back of the main shaft to the back of the counter shaft, which I'll show in a little bit. And there's uh, one spur gear in between there that will change the direction for reverse. Right now I've got it shifted, which would be into the fifth gear position there. Oh, well, let me get that line back up. That would be the fifth gear position. And there's another spacer missing here. This would normally sit right there. When I shift down into reverse, I'm gonna pull this out of the way just so I can get it easier. This is one of the procedures that you've gotta to do to put the transmission back together. These are our struts and strut springs that hold that shift collar in place in the neutral or engaged position. That right there is a fully engaged rever reverse position. Well, now I've sprung them all out. It's all right. They had to come out eventually anyway. The next step we're gonna do with this is wash it. But while we're here, we'll take a closer look at used versus new. I'll see if I can get them right together. Again, this part looks really good. I'm not worried about using that one more time. I'll throw that back in there. Lastly, we've got our first and, and second gear. Our first gear here, second gear here. There's a brand new first gear and a brand new shift collar. And you can hear there's just a tiny bit of play on that one just like there is on that one. It looks like more, but that's not any more play right there. Engaged, it's the same way. That's fully engaged in first. That's fully engaged in second. So I'm gonna put it back to the neutral position and I can lift my second gear off of there. I was looking at those gears before, we're looking at them once again. We've got good sharp corners to a nice point there and that's what that synchro and collar all needs to line up so I'm not going to take that apart much any further honestly that's uh, we've looked at that a couple of times you can look here a little closer at these ridges compared to these and basically what we're seeing here is the transmission that was in mostly really good shape so we're gonna go ahead and go with that uh, the next step is I'll get these parts into the washer We'll get everything clean. We'll take one last look at them. Uh, that's a whole lot of back and forth when you're building a transmission, especially if you haven't done it a hundred times. Making sure that everything you need is going to be up to meet and spec. So we'll continue on with that in a minute. All right, so we're going to put that parts washer back to work here in a minute. Finish washing those parts up that I loaded. And then we're gonna load the rest of these parts in there and get them washed as well. I'm not gonna go through the tear down of the counter shaft. That's pretty simple, basic stuff. Uh, if you really wanna know how to do that, get our book, the TM1003. It goes through every single detail. We also have a DVD video of the entire build of one of these transmissions. So uh, the book has got information for the General Motors and the Dodge versions and every version that was ever built for the MV4500. Loads of information, torque specs, all of that good stuff. If you've watched since the beginning of this series, thanks for watching. If this is the first one you saw, go back and watch part one and part two when we tore down initially in the first inspection. And this was just really a comparison of parts before we washed. Uh, this isn't necessarily something that you'd do at home. You don't have the new parts sitting there already. But 
it's a good idea to know what you're looking for, and that's what I was trying to point out. I hope that helped y'all. I hope you like the video so far. If you do, give us a like. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think of what we're doing here. Uh, subscribe to the channel. All the good stuff. Visit us on the web or call us, and we'll help you find what you need. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.